Are support bonuses underrated in Fire Emblem Engage? So right now I'm doing a seven man maddening run and what I need to have happen here is I need to kill this man. So he wants to kill us, but we want to kill him first. So let's see if we can avoid getting crit. Let's see, do we get it? All right, we got to crit ourselves. All right, so we crit him. All right, so we took him out just like how we took out Princess Hortensia, but our supports underrated in Fire Emblem Engage. I think they kind of are. With supports, you can do a lot of silly things. So for example, if I want to attack and kill this with Anna here, but I also don't want Anna to die because there are two enemies, sorry, so there's two enemies that can hit her and she can't tank both of them. So one has 19 damage, one has 25. They will stack lethal damage. However, I can park Fram next to her so we can chain guard. So now she survives. But then what if they go up to Fram? Okay, well, what if I park an A level, another, you know, with B support and A support? So let's first let's look at Fram's Avoid. 87, that's pretty good. Now let's put a Leer next to her. And let's see what happens. We're open-minded on this channel, so let's see what they do. So they completely ignore all the things they can kill and just go for Chloe. All right, here we go. This one's going for Anna. Does zero damage because of the chain guard. So just because of supports, I was able to boost, I mean, not only from supports, but supports helped boost her avoid up. So supports are really good. Having two A supports, especially early on, can make a utility unit like Fram virtually unkillable. They have 100 hit, 105 hit. They have no chance of hitting her. They have very low single digit percent chances of hitting her. And this is without dual support. So you stack the avoid from the engraving on the shielding arts, the avoid plus 15, her passive that gives her an Aaliyah plus 10 avoid, the support avoids. It all adds up to essentially making this particular unit unhittable. Now support does more than that though. The bonuses can also increase hit rates. So right now Anna's looking at a smooth 100% hit rate and could just straight up kill this dude. So we might as well do that. And then Chloe over here, she looks like she wants to override with Rider's Bane to clean up these cats. So imagine if these are cats, we have to clean, we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna Rider's Bane one of them at least. Then put the other one at almost death or aka one shot but support bonuses do matter and increasing hit rate increasing avoid rates on the like on the fringes of where it's useful like if you have some bulk avoid coming in or you have like some hit rate issues it can definitely help so it's something that can push things over the edge to allow them to perform but more so it can be used in this case as like an avoid tank build right Stacking all these different abilities, making use of support. So this is just one example of how support is good. There are other things too. Uh, support can also increase crit rates. Certain units give each other support that scales crit rates. Uh, certain units increase, I think, crit avoid as well. The main stats are avoid, hit, crit, and crit avoid. In other words, dodge. But even right here, like just by standing next to Fram, getting that plus 10 avoid and then the increased avoid so let's check out check out the difference so we get plus 10 from fram's passive and we also get plus 10 from standing next to fram and chloe so that's two supports giving avoid making this mage have 50 50 hit rate and in real time makes you know that's a coin flip so it's a good chance they miss those so now i don't have to heal a leer i can be a little bit more aggressive than i could be otherwise and just smack this dude for being rude and attacking me. We will continue being the busy man. <laughs> Alright, I can dive bomb this guy and get out. Potentially. There's an archer there that's looking like he wants to kill me. So we might not be able to escape. I could do this though. And use the good old javelin. But I think supports are kind of underrated. They're definitely something that's useful and if you take advantage of them intentionally, it can it can help. All right, so where's a gold Mary? Oh, she's up here. I've never seen her go this way before. Usually there's like units down here, but it's interesting that running four units on this particular map has caused her to completely reroute. 
All right, so this guy is going to try to break me with a lance. So we're just going to not allow that. We'll just do a chain guard, keep it simple. All right, that's what we like to see. These two are going to be a power combo in this particular run, the seven-man run. Now, it is a seven-man run, so you might be wondering why am I only using four units. Well, <laughs> I get three units at the end of the next map. I'm not necessarily counting that. I could. I'm not. But it's just for fun. Just to power level some units. Let's take out an archer. Probably going to... Let's see, what's she going to do? She's going to smack me with a steel blade. I actually don't mind that. That's totally fine. If she wants to hit a unit with a steel blade, that's acceptable. We'll allow it. All right, and similar to how the other enemies didn't want to attack Fram, I'm sure these ones won't as well. So we can just kind of chill out here. But the support definitely matters. That extra avoid, and it also is especially matters when you have dual support where you get extra void based on your support level. So if a bunch of A supports around you, you become ungodly in terms of, like, well, actually ungodly. You become godly in terms of your dodge. All right, let's go. Let's say let's go here. I could have engaged there, but it's fine. We'll just not use engage. All right, so now Anna can tank these from a mixture of chain guard and support. It does increase her avoid and hit rate, which is useful. Okay, and then this guy, or this guy, it's Gold Mary. She's gonna be one of the units I'm running too, so that's funny. Oh no, she's. Honestly, if I was a Leer, I would probably let Gold Mary smash me too. <laughs> if I was a Leer. <laughs> Alright. Okay. All right, you get it. Alright, let's, let's see what we got going on here. We got these guys. Get some Draco shields, we'll take it. I do like how that thief collects all that stuff and then you just nuke him down. All right, we can easily smash, we can sm we can counter smash Gold Mary if we want to, but we're not gonna do that. We'll just hit her. We'll demonstrate, we'll assert authority. We'll assert our alpha energy. <laughs> A leer as an alpha. It's like the nicest person ever. All right, so that's it for the support video. I just want to talk about supports, do some demos, show some things. I will have to pick this up with a new topic, so I'll see you probably in a few minutes if you're going to be watching that as well. So yeah, thanks for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe. I'll see you in the near future.